Look maxing or glowing up is a complicated process that requires a lot of effort and knowledge. What can be especially frustrating about look maxing is the expectation of results or in simple man's terms is look maxing going to pay off for you and by how much you can increase your attractiveness. This will be today's discussion. We're going to point out some indicators and facial structures that predict good future look maxing potential with other outside factors as well. This video, like many others, will be split into two main parts. In the first part, we will discuss the look maxing potential cheers, and in the second one, we will look at outside factors for look maxing potential. If you want to support the channel and get your face evaluated by me with personalized look maxing advice, link will be down in the description. If you want to read more about topics like these, you can check out my blog at neurofacerating.com. Without further ado, let's get this video started. So how to know if you have good potential to achieve great look maxing results without going for soft or hard cosmetic surgery? I would like to split people into three different tiers when it comes to natural look maxing potential. High tier, mid tier, and low tier. Starting with the high tier. High tier are people who can easily ascend by 2-3 to three points look maxing wise taking them to chad light or chad range depending on their starting base. People in this tier oppress themselves by wasting their potential. Their face lacks major structural flaws, like major dental asymmetry, they lack major flaws in their eye areas, and most important of all, they lack recession. By that I mean they don't have recessed chins, maxilla, and flat overall facial development. Their features are proportionate, so their issues are usually related to a terrible skin, weak hair, by this I mean balding in its beginning stages, weak eyebrows and beards, and high body fat levels, plus terrible styling which all can be fixed naturally, greatly pushing their attractiveness score. Mid-tier, this tier of people have the potential to increase their looks by a point to a point and a half at best. And their facial structure is mixed. You have features that are not flaws averaging there. For example, an average jaw or eye area with some structural flaws like minor to mild asymmetry, an above average side hooked nose, thin lips with a mix of both average, good and weak facial ratios. This group can only target skin, hair, eyebrows, body fat and jaw muscles but they cannot target other structural flaws. They can only work around them to, for example, a good beard, good hairstyles and glasses if the flaws are linked to the mid face and eyes. So they are limited, but not fully. So usually taking themselves from normies to high tier normies. The low tier, when it comes to the low tier people, they are barely benefiting from soft maxing by gaining just a core to half a point at best. And that's because of severe flaws in facial structures, and major flaws like prey eyes due to a negative cantal tilt, high amounts of upper eyelid exposure, bug eyes, a narrow severely asymmetrical jaw, recessed chin, flat maxilla, and bad ratios like a tall mid-face, steep gonio angle, and other similar to it. This stuns their potential, because they can barely mask or fraud these features by hair, beard, or glasses, only leaving them with basic soft maxing which is skin, body fat, and the rest. As for their major flaws, they will require cosmetic surgery which will result in them overcoming their flaws and achieving great results. There are two more factors related to your look maxing potential, and that's your knowledge and planning of look maxing in your age. And by age, I mean how young you are, especially if you are a teenager. Teenagers are still growing and developing with their bone structure still changing in shape and density, allowing them for more flexibility in their approach. They can experiment with mewing, facial exercises, face pulling, and other theoretical natural methods. Unlike adults, their faces are fully developed and done growing, restricting their look maxing approach. But what do you guys think about all of this? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. That's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. A like and subscribe would be highly appreciated. And like usual, catch you guys in the next one.